In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to install the Amasync WordPress plugin. So the way you do that is first you got to go to the software section here on the left hand side of the menu and go ahead and click on Amasync WordPress plugin. You can also navigate with these buttons up here, but click it down here and what you want to do is click this big orange button to download the zip file. So we click that and then you download it to your computer. And so what I'll do is I'll select save as or save file and I'm using Firefox. So it's similar like this in Chrome or Internet Explorer. So go ahead and save it to your computer somewhere and I've just selected a hard drive here that I have and it's going to save it there. Now if you're not sure where you want to save it, uh, one thing you can do is just save it to your desktop. Just click desktop and save it there. But I'm just going to go ahead and save it to this hard drive called working. Save it right there. And now what we want to do is log in to our WordPress um, admin area for wherever you want to install this plugin and then we'll install it from there. So let's move on over to that. Alright, so I've just created a sample blog on our website here just to show how this plugin will be installed. So I'm just going to go ahead and just click on the plugins area right here. When you go to the plugins area, you go ahead and click add new or there's also another link up here, add new. Um, and this is how you install pretty much any WordPress plugin. It's all similar. And then go ahead and click upload right here. And then we'll click this browse button to find where we saved that uh, zip file here on my computer. And there it is. And we'll go ahead and select that, click open. Now we click install. And then click the activate plugin. And it should be all installed. And there we go. To uh, access the features of it, you simply uh, go to settings here. Just click on settings and you'll see at the bottom you'll find this new link here called Amasync. So go ahead and click that and that's how we get access to the information here. So that's how you install it. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do. Um, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to show you another method to install it using a uh, manual method. So this was using the upload method that is given within the WordPress admin area, but there's another way to do it manually. So let's go ahead and do that next.